Hi everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Friday the 20th of September 2019. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the Morgan Greer deck for today's reading and let's have a look at what the cards want you to be aware of and what you'll be working with. Page of Rods, the Four of Wands in reverse, and the Fool. The Four of Wands is the most positive card in the deck, as far as I'm concerned. It's the only one that has the same message, whether it's upside down or upright. It's a celebration and it's a gate card into a happier period of your life. So I'm going to turn that around. So we've got a lot of yellow, first of all, very basic um, and some blue. So positivity, happiness, joy, feeling energized, feeling in control, feeling well, ha having a sense of well-being in your body. Also, two young people looking at each other. There's room to socialize, make friends, teach each other new things. He's in a learning position, so is he, although he's a little bit, he's the lowest set. <laughs> um, so they can, you know, work with one another to create this doorway, I suppose. So the Page of Rods is a chord card. Chord cards go from page to knight to prince and princess and king and queen. And when you're a page, it's basically like your first week at the monastery. You're starting to learn about what it is you're doing with the element of fire, which is rods. And fire represents all things having to do with what you care about, what you're passionate about, what you really dream about doing, what you desire. And sometimes we're so blocked up and and gunked up full of negativity that we feel like we don't enjoy anything. There's nothing we care about. And that's when the fire has kind of gone out and you're not growing and you're not moving forward. And we all feel like that sometimes. We achieve something and then we don't set a new goal and we feel like we're just drifting. And then it's like, oh my God, I've, I've, I've taken a step backwards. So the page of rods takes you back to basics, really. And it's uh, looking at things with new eyes. It's like a reintroduction to things that you may have already been aware of in your life. But you, you, they seem fresh and new to you. And the four of wands is a celebration, a wedding, a party, um, a social gathering of any kind in some sort of institution or ballroom or nightclub or restaurant or house or wherever it may be. It's a really wonderful time to share your energy with other people and to be of service to other people. And that will come naturally. So the best thing you can do today is socialize because that in turn will provide you with a lot of fire and inspiration. So you learn a lot as the page of rods. And not only are you motivated again and at that grassroots level, but you're also fired up by other people's energy and their ideas. And you immediately move up to the knight of rods who can really take action in getting nearer to fulfilling your life purpose and really starting to get the motivation to actually do something about your ideas in a real physical sense. Now, the fool is an idea that hasn't even been conceived yet. The fool is zero. It's nothing. It's completion. It's unity. It's one. The fool is peace. The fool is anything that's 
beyond this world because nothing is whole on planet earth the the planet itself may be round but um <laughs> as far as you know light and night and day are concerned married not married we have duality on planet earth left right young older we have all these all these um rules and all these things that balance each other out and the fool is complete in itself so that's something that doesn't work here on planet earth that's why he needs to be channeled through the magician which is a who is in touch with spirit so the magician acts like a medium and translates the ideas of the fool and filters them through his knowledge, his common sense, and then applies them to his life as he sees fit. So by connecting with other people, you um, create new ideas and new inspiration and that new energy has sparks that fly off it and you're also inspired to do new things and to go into different areas and to look at um focusing on different directions so being around other people really kind of focuses your plan for the future and makes things look really sharp and you just get much clearer about what you're doing, where you're heading and discussing things with people as well as having a good time. That's the best thing you can do to make use of this fiery, positive energy. And, you know, go where you meet the most positive people. So, um, don't go to some dive bar, you know, in, in some, in the worst part of town. Instead, go to a nice, yeah, go to a nice, um, club or something where your friends go and where you know people and the uh, service is nice or whatever. So it's really a day of, um, taking or taking control back becoming happier in your life because you're really getting recharged and you're really getting a big dose of, you know, vitamin motivation, Monday motivation, Tuesday motivation, Wednesday motivation, whatever it may be, or you're just being motivated by this. And like the, the, the ideas and the new info that comes out of this, what I'm being reminded of is, the Harry Potter film where um, there's a battle between good and evil. Again, we've got duality, you know, good and evil. So we've got Voldemort, evil, Harry Potter, good. And they're kind of shooting their ones at each other. And what happens is that the circle forms and ha Harry's parents, they kind of appear out of the, where the two ones, the energy meets. And it's through that connection that something else is sparked off. So I don't know if you've seen the movie, but if you have, that's what it's like. It's because you're like each time you make a connection with another person, each time you introduce yourself to someone or you say, hello, my name is Lisa or hello, uh, you know, nice to meet you. Each time you're doing that, it's like Harry and Voldemort, you're kind of putting your energy out there. And you're engaging with their energy and you're seeing whether it meshes or it doesn't. So when it does mesh, you'll have really interesting discussions and lots of, uh, you'll see things from a different perspective and you'll have ideas that you wouldn't have had if you hadn't, it's a lot of negatives, if you hadn't socialized on this day, you wouldn't get the inspirations and ideas that you will get if you go and make the most of the day yeah and try and try and 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 have as much contact with people as possible because that's what's going to make you happy today it's going to teach you it's going to make you 
take a step forward on your path and it leads to something really, really positive. So today is one of those days where um, you might also get some good news or a problem that was unresolved kind of is shut down and you finally are able to move on and you're able to move forward from something that was blocking you or you finally take the next step in your process or you feel ready to kind of go through that new doorway so you're ready to take the um, full-time position instead of part-time because now you're confident enough and you want to go full-time whatever it may be so it's a breakthrough day and the breakthrough the energy to break the wall down and have the breakthrough is from other people so it's not like you're being an energy vampire but you certainly are boosted up by other people's fire and you can't miss that i mean that goes without saying that's unavoidable when you're in other people's kind of auric space you pick up on their aura that's why happy people surround themselves with happy people because they mesh with people who are on the same vibration. And we meet people who are on the same vibration that we're on. So if you're asking, why do I always have girlfriends who, you know, just friend zone me? It's because part of what's happening is that you're giving out this energy of friend. So number wise, we've got a chord card, which is one and four is five five is about freedom and this is freedom in your life to do as you please and to enjoy yourself and to just do whatever it is you find fun so enjoy your freedom have fun yeah i'm also getting like if you do sports if you like going um down water slides or you do uh, horse racing or Jim Connors or uh, you run 1,500 meter athletics or you do the long jump or whatever it is that gets you excited, whatever it gives that gives you a thrill, a bit of a buzz, that's what you ought to take advantage of today because you're really able to celebrate and to have a good time today. So, like I always say, when the energy is good, you'd be a fool. <laughs> See what I did there? You'd be a fool not to enjoy it. Enjoy it while it's good. And put your worries to, to tomorrow. Worry about your worries tomorrow and make the most of the day and enjoy it. And be here in the now and connect with people and bring something new into your life. Make sure at the end of the day you said, said something, my new friend Angela, or my new teacher Chris, or something along those lines. New has to be in there, okay? So have a wonderful day and a wonderful start to the weekend. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to audio reading. In my personal readings, I use the tarot, astrology, and numerology, so I can answer any questions you may have, from relationships to money to romance to where to live, life purpose, anything at all. If you like the video, then please hit the subscribe button and share the video online. Have a lovely day, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.